Hello fellow contractors. Have you guys always been a little fearful of cleaning and protecting a project? That's why we've come up with the Quickie Cleaner and Protectant. Obviously there's lots of square footage out there that needs to be cleaned and protected and it's a great way to bring in profits for your company. So we're gonna dive in a little deeper. So with our paver cleaner, we've come up with the Easy Clean technology. We're gonna go through step-by-step step how this works. So we have different applications, whether it be a uh, light soiling, mild soiling, or a heavy soiling, and the ratios, and then obviously what it's gonna cover here, right on the back. So you can refer to the back sheet here, and it's gonna give you step-by-step -step application. You're gonna wanna wet the surface first, so that way it doesn't impregnate into the surface too quick. Then we're gonna take it, spray it on lightly, and then pressure wash it off. You don't wanna use more than a 15 degree tip. Generally wanna use around a 40 degree tip. So we're gonna get into this process, show you how it works. So we decided this is in between a heavy duty and a medium duty cleaning. So we're gonna do one gallon of the cleaner and we're gonna do four gallons of water. As far as getting any on a patio like this, it's all right, just dilute it a little bit before it actually impregnates. We're gonna pre-wet everything. So wet everything down, siding, windows, the whole nine yards. You can also cover the windows if you like to. We'll wet it down, keep it wet. We're not gonna have to worry about that. Usually try to stick to a 15 by 15 area. We're gonna put on the cleaner then at that point, spray that on nice and even. We're gonna let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. Take our pressure washer again. Pressure wash it off and then just clean any of the debris and anything around, and then we're good to go. Wow, as a homeowner, I would be extremely excited on how this came out. Pavers are looking phenomenal. With the paver cleaner, it brings the debris and junk to the surface of the product. You're able to pressure wash those pavers and off. And originally when the homeowner did this, they pressure washed it, but they probably got a little bit too close because they weren't using a cleaner like this. And trying to get some of that debris off can be quite difficult. Probably got a little close, took the cream off the product, which is gonna wear the product down. You can see the aggregates kind of coming through. And this project probably went a little too long. Probably every three to five years, try to clean it, protect it, stay on top of it, much like a car. You don't buy a nice car and just let it go. You clean it with soap, and then you obviously wax it and protect it. So stay tuned for next week's tip of the week where we're gonna be doing the protectant. Thanks again for watching this week's tip of the week. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and go to our website, pavetool.com.